Hello, so today I'm going to give a little more of an in-depth view of my Game Boy themed cyber deck. Uh, a couple of updates since last time. We have an HDMI port for external monitor. Um, we've got a audio jack on the front now. And we have a status display, a little OLED display, up at the top, which shows system information, the CPU load, the network, memory usage, etc. Um, last time, had some folks ask about exactly what it looked like on the inside, so um, I'm going to show you a little bit of that. So. Removing the keyboard here, you can see the insides. And I'll just give you a quick tour of this. So this is the battery pack. Um, this is actually a talent cell 12 volt and five volt supply. Um, I use the 12 volt to power the screen and I use the five volt to run my Pi. Um, so if you look here, this is the display controller and it just has HDMI here, which comes out of the Pi right here. Um, the Raspberry Pi is this piece here. Um, I've got a number of custom cables I needed to make to get everything to fit. Down here, this is our uh, SSD. This is an N, uh, M2 SSD with a USB um, 3 connector on it. Um, and then most of the wiring that goes up to the display comes through this little hole here. So there was a lot of interest last time on exactly how I made the mouse. Um, so the mouse is built onto this bracket here which goes into the top of the case and if you see this is our mouse right here um, and it's actually Mostly just the guts of, I got one of these little verbatim travel mice. I think I got it for maybe $7 on Amazon. And what I did, you take the screws out of the bottom and you can open it up. And that's the entirety of the mouse right there. Um, and it's got a little lens here and the buttons. Now what I did with this is I soldered to the back of the board the buttons that are actually in here and these are attached to the back of the machine. Um, and I just screwed it in using the same screw holes that this comes with up here. Um, and I did run into a little bit of difficulty because you, it's a little bit difficult to see, but there's actually a, a gap here, and that gap is required for the sensor to detect properly. So in this, there's a piece of plexiglass. I just cut this out of a, a larger piece and put it in between the underside of the mouse and the front. And so what this is really doing is it's, when you're using this mouse, you're just kind of moving your thumb around on the front of this. And it's got a really thin wire. So that runs um, along the back here through this cable and just plugs in actually to the Raspberry Pi. And then um, one of the changes I made since last time is I added this OLED display, which which also runs the same way um, when it's attached to the 
SPI uh, I2C ports um, on the Raspberry Pi, and that controls, uh, that shows the, the um, system stats. Um, this, as I've shown before, here is the controller, uh, the controller buttons for the HDMI controller, which runs the screen. And that's about it. Hope you like it.